Welcome to Using the Style Book. Learning outcomes, learn best practices for using the style book, understand the difference between global styles and the style book, how they work together too. Learn how to add customization and styling before setting up your website. If you have not viewed styling your site with global styles, please do so to get a better understanding of global styles. Learn WordPress videos are found on YouTube under WordPress. The URL link is below also. To find the style book, we're going to start in our dashboard and we'll scroll down the menu to appearance. We'll go over to the editor and click on that to open that up. Under the design menu, you'll see the styles. We'll click on that. And we've opened up a kind of mini menu that shows WordPress default. It comes with eight different style variations. So we can kind of stop here and I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do the same thing. So this is going to be one way of choosing a different style combination for your theme. And there's different colors and fonts. So this is the default page that comes with the theme. And this is kind of the blog home template. Okay. So there's a bunch of kind of different blocks that they used. And what we can do is we can pick and click on the different color variations to see how they would look. And if you notice that the font will change also as we go through the different colors. So we're just going to stick with the default for right now because I want to show you some other things on this page. Up here at the top, there is a I icon. And when you hover over, it says the style book. And then there's a pencil icon that says edit styles. So if we click on the style book icon, the I, what comes up is the headings, paragraphs, images, um, all the core blocks that are being used. And again, we can take and click on our different style variations to see what looks good with the different blocks. The other feature that is good to point out is that down here is last modified. So there's actually a revisions that we can click on and it opens up our page and it shows the style revisions and it shows when I did the revision and when I click on it on the day, it'll kind of give me a overview of what was changed and updated, which is kind of cool. Okay. And there's other ways to get to this also. So let's go back up here and we'll go into the edit styles. So this will be the main page that people usually go to. And you'll notice that the styles menu on the right opened up automatically. If it doesn't open up automatically, just come over to the half moon and click on that to open it. And if you've watched the global styles video, you, you already know what um, these things can do. Okay. So again, here is our eye icon. Here is our clock icon that shows the revision. So here's the other way to get to it. So again, we have the blog home template as kind of our default page. Our browse styles, just like in that first section. And we can do the same thing. We can look at the page and we can try the different styles color variations out. You can then go to the style book and what that does is it provides those the theme core blocks but this time in a little bit easier to manage view because it has tabs and they've put the different blocks into the different tabs. So that's a little bit easier. So all the medias together design features, buttons, groups, such as. Widgets are those things that you might have like a list with links, a calendar, again, list, a post list, 
page list. Um, your social media icons is all kind of a widget. It's all together. And then our theme blocks will be together too. So again, I can go into my style variations and I can see how the different colors are going to look within these areas. So it's kind of really cool. Um, the media doesn't have much. <laughs> the buttons is probably the bigger one uh, because of the fact that the button is going to have a different color in, in and some of them have different shapes too. So kind of find the best one that fits with you. Okay. So the other thing that you can do is when you're going through, and this is where the global styles and style book kind of work together. So if we're doing um, kind of our blocks and I, I like all the other colors, but I, I want to do a little pop, you know, I like the, um, the basic, if we look at the, the colors of this, the palette, I like the grays and blacks, but I want to pop a color for my button, right? In the style book so under the design tab, you can also customize your, your buttons and kind of see a preview. If we click on the block, it will open up the styling tools for this. So we can go in and change the background color and we'll go with this light brown and then we'll change the text to a black and we can also change the appearance and make it a medium text and we can also change the font and that doesn't look good so let's go back to our original um, well we can use that we can use the system sans one so there's different ways that we can add things and kind of preview them over here. So I'm going to hit save and save again. And then when I go to my front end and refresh my page, you'll see that I have the um, styles done. We're going to go over to the text and look at the quote block. Now, most of our styling we want to do in the global styles, but sometimes there's a special block that might need some, um, just a special little something. So we're going to click on that and open up the block and we're going to add in a background color so we can change that. Okay. We can also change the font and we'll do that. And then we can hit save and we'll hit save again. And now when we go in, when we take off our style block, we can see that in our template that um, we can preview this here. And then when we go to our front end and refresh our page and we'll scroll down, we can see how it looks there. So check out more lessons at learn.wordpress.org or our YouTube channel at WordPress. Thank you.